we are cleaning this pearl spot. It is called as Karungal in Konkani and pearl spot in English. So why is it called pearl spot? Because there is this spot here. So that's why it's called pearl spot. Yeah. So we'll show you how to clean it. First you remove the khawra. <laughs> it's called uh, khawra in Konkani. It's uh, basically scales, fish scales. So basically uh, for fish uh, which we get during monsoon season and for some uh, like the pearl spot then there's um, silver millet uh, and then for even for chana that is baramundi or um, groper, red snapper we prepare this fried hajile humayun uh, hajile humayun basically means fried okay so what we do is we dry roast the ingredients like for such uh, type of curry, and, uh, we dry roast coconut, uh, onion, uh, red chilies, and um, the coriander seeds. The uh, fine paste is made out of it. Uh, onion is sorted, and then the paste is added on that. We are only using the head and uh, two fish, the whole fish. Uh, so for this we are going, we have added only salt and turmeric for this and have marinated it. See now the curry has started boiling. You can see slight bubbles. Once uh, the full, uh, once it starts boiling, we will add the marinated fish. Now that it has boiled completely, we are going to add the fish in it. Add salt. mix it gently so we are gonna let it uh, cook for one you minute can see and one time after to it cooks for like off. about one minute do not overcook yes. it and the curry is ready you can have this curry with um, rice and fish with rice, roti or anything. I like to have it with steamed rice and some fried fish. So we received Fido's parcel in the morning. Uh, I had ordered some uh, gravies uh, for him. Uh, this is from Meetup. This is for especially for the skin and the coat and this is his favorite. He doesn't like the pedigree that much but this one is fav his favorite and it had some nice offer on Amazon. So yes, that's it about it. Since it's raining these days, I get this craving to eat samosa and bhaji pao in the evening after work. So I went to this place. It's opposite uh, Mapsa Municipal Library and this place serves the best uh, samosas. You should definitely try their samosa and uh, he gives um, chutney, the green chutney with pao and even the red chutney. After that, we went to Sarigao to try this most hyped ice cream.
so on sunday uh, we decided to go out somewhere with the family so we headed out uh, to this nice place called as mother wildlife sanctuary they have this sanctuary but basically there are no uh, real animals inside so there are uh, figures of these animals since there are no uh, real animals there is figures of tiger the national uh, sorry the state uh, animal of goa state um, bird of goa there is a state tree inside uh, this sanctuary uh, and this uh, this was a fountain which was an artificial uh, you know what fall outside uh, the <coughs> sanctuary which actually depicts the uh, real vibe of this place where there are you know tiny waterfalls uh, around this area uh, so there are uh, small uh, bo boards that are uh, put up with all the information about the different types of animals that are found in this region so it is very um, you know uh, very versatile so there's every detail about uh, each and every animal uh, the birds, the types of snakes, the types of trees that are found in this region. So, in case you are coming with your <coughs> child, or <coughs> if there are any uh, kids in your family, you should definitely, uh, definitely get them here, as it can be a very, uh, you know, informative tour or informative place to visit. And uh, since it was, uh, it's raining these days the place had become really green and it was covered with all you know nice plants and flowers <coughs> so yeah it was a great experience uh, over here next morning i went out for breakfast at this cafe in asagao it is called as um, black vanilla uh, so they have this cafe cafe set up in asagao uh, and it's inside a nice uh, old portuguese house and it's really maintained well and the ambience is so good feels like a go and home and you know very homely so i had some coffee or uh, like some cold coffee and some pasta pizza so they have an extensive menu uh there's uh, specifically if you go there you should you must try their um pasta or uh, their english breakfast okay and these are some of the specialties uh and i loved their pasta to be honest and this waffles are really famous here so you should definitely give it a try and so uh, this is the barbecue pizza it's a thin crust pizza and it was really good so currently i'm running a giveaway in collaboration with black vanilla so in order to participate in the uh, contest you need to visit my instagram profile that is gun underscore raji good and there are some rules that you need to follow and the winners get a uh, dining, a complimentary dining at Barakwet.